Hey, what is up guys? It's Stan here back with another video. So in this one, I wanna show you guys how to install RTX Voice on an NVIDIA non-RTX GPU. And we'll do some tests showing the difference between RTX Voice noise suppression on versus off and a couple scenarios. So let's get into it. All right, as you can see here, I've got the, my OBS running and it's capturing uh, the audio directly from my Yeti X microphone I've got right here. And all right, the first thing we need to do is to navigate to NVIDIA's RTX Voice website right here. You can see this is the information about RTX Voice. Uh, there is an option to download the app here. And you can see we're downloading RTX Voice 5.12.6, which is the latest version. Um, and you can see download it here. Now, if you have an RTX GPU, setup is straightforward. Just double click and install. Now, if you have a NVIDIA GPU that's a GTX GPU, either a 780, 980, or 1080, then we need to do some editing uh, to enable this on a GTX GPU. As you can see here, NVIDIA installer cannot continue uh, you need an RTX GPU for it to work, but worry not, we have, uh, we're able to bypass this by just a little bit of editing. What we need to do is to go into the C drive and then go into the temp folder here. And what you'll notice is a brand new folder called NV RTX Voice. We go into here and there is a new, another folder, NV AFX. We have this RTX Voice dot NVI. Uh, this is the text file that we need to edit. Now we need administration rights to be able to edit this folder. So if you go to notepad and make sure you run it as administrator, otherwise it won't work. Uh, what we'll do is we'll open up this file in this notepad. So we just go to open and you can navigate to this location or you can copy and paste it into here and we'll end up here. And in order to see this file, we need to change it to all files so that we can see it. So rtxvoice.nvi, and we open this thing up. From here, you can see there's a lot of texts and we're looking for specifically for this line right here. It says constraints and then some text and then slash constraints. So what we'll do is just delete that completely and then save and then close. So, from here, we back out to one folder above and double click this setup. This setup right here, this is the one that you want to use, not the original uh, application that you install or downloaded, because if you do, it'll undo the change that you did. So click, double click this setup and then agree to install, and then your installation should be able to continue. And just that, like that, RTX Voice should be installed. All right, so the way it works is you have an input device and an output device, and you can select the different input devices. I have the Yeti X microphone, which is currently being used for this recording. And to enable uh, noise suppression, you just click this little box and you have a little slider for how much noise suppression you really want. Uh, if you remember, I'm recording off of OBS here. And if you go into settings, the go to the audio settings i have the mic as uh, yeti x but if i change that to the microphone nvidia rtx voice if i switch to that and apply real quick uh, that will basically tell obs to use this device right here now uh, if i change this to noise suppression on this is basically noise suppression uh, of using RTX voice through the Yeti microphone. And most likely what you'll hear is very, very little difference uh, just in, in sound quality because the impact that I have found with RTX voice is the very, very minimal. Now, uh, if I were to turn it off again and put on some Macron noise, now as just a little test here, I've got a 16 inch MacBook Pro, Volume set to about 50%. Play some uh, just music. 
and the Yeti X is set to surround pickup, so it's gonna pick up stuff from the front, from the back. Uh, this is probably the worst case scenario, uh, just just to show you guys what this is all about here. And now I've got, I'll click the noise suppression, and you can hear basically all the background noise has just been cut out completely. What I think is the most impressive part about all of this is the fact that it's able to cut down the noise without distorting my voice. I've heard, you know, a lot of other noise suppression devices or whatever softwares that really distort your voice and people complain about you sound like you're underwater or, um, you know, you sound really muffled. But if I toggle this back off again, you can hear this is with the noise again and it shouldn't really hear much of a difference in my voice quality. So, uh, I, that's just, I, it's kind of, it's just kind of mind boggling how it's able to do this noise suppression without distorting my voice. And again, let me turn it back on and there you go. If I stop talking for a moment, it's basically cuts everything out. So, uh, that's a pretty good example of just some music in the background. All right, so here I've got a Dyson vacuum cleaner. Now, this isn't the loudest vacuum cleaner in the world, but it's still decently loud, and I'm sure your friends wouldn't appreciate you using a vacuum cleaner right next to the microphone when you're playing the game, but you know, this is a very extreme case. Uh, you can hear this is what the vacuum cleaner sounds like with it on. As you can see in the noise, it's all the way in the yellow, the green and yellow. Uh, now, if I were to hit the RTX noise suppression on, this is what it sounds like. It's basically cut out almost all the noise. This is, this is amazing. Uh, now, if I turn this off again, again, this is what it sounds like. And if I were to turn it on again, that's what the noise suppression sounds like. Now, if I were to go slide this down to maybe 75%, that's what, this is what 75% sounds like. Now, 50%. All right, so this is 50% RTX voice suppression. Now, 25%. And now, if I go all the way to zero, I'm pretty sure this is going to be just like regular without any noise suppression at all so i think i think this is a very very impressive test uh it shows the potential of rtx voice now that was a very impressive uh, example of what rtx voice can do uh, however it's not perfect and what i mean by that is if you have a very loud tv in the background rtx voice is going to be able to cut out most of that noise but if the noise is right around uh, voice voice level or voice frequencies. Uh, it sometimes has a little bit of difficulty telling what is your voice and what is unwanted TV voice. For example, I've got uh, a YouTube video that I shot previously playing. And uh, if I were to take off that so you can hear what this sounds like, this is and I did a video volume. a review of that. And if you, you can hear that out, the video and you can hear me. Well. And now if I turn so, on RTX voice, I've been using it, in my gaming, uh, my friends and it takes gaming out a little games. bit of that noise, but then uh, it's basically sounds like two people talking for RTX voice. So it doesn't actually completely remove it. Right, so. Uh, you know, um, usually when, when you have pause this for a second. Speaker. RTX voice is great at eliminating AC noises or constant noises, constant noise, you know, like uh, background noises, a noise floor, or, um, you know, just music is very good at taking out music, uh, especially music without words. But if it, you know, has, a, if you have something that has words in it and it sounds like your own voice or at voice level frequencies, it sometimes isn't able to take that out because it doesn't know the difference between a YouTube video versus the actual person. So uh, there are limitations. But that said, in almost all scenarios, though, um, RTX voice is amazing. It is able to do what a lot of software is claimed to do, but do it just much better because 
it doesn't have that kind of impact to voice quality. Uh, for I can use this program here and have a very good voice sounding quality and my friends won't say that I'm you know underwater or all muffled up. It's just very, very good quality that you can enable and have it enabled at all times. Now, uh, I'm gonna end this video right here. I'm gonna do some more testing. In the next one, I wanna do a comparison between crisp uh, noise suppression, which is in Discord, is what Discord uses versus RTX voice. And we could do a comparison of that and take a look at uh, how that sounds. So if you wanna check that out, make sure to hit subscribe or keep an eye out for that video. On your way out, if you can hit that like button, that'd be great too. I'll see you guys in the next one.